waiting for Natalie. Waiting for Natalie. Hello, darling. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? I'm good. I'm I'm glad to. I can only do forty five minutes, so darling. So if people mm -hmm. want to maybe do the forty five minutes and then they can stretch with you, or we just do a forty five minute intense. Yeah. Why don't we do forty five minutes? We can include the stretching. You can get do a really good workout in forty five okay. minutes. So I just got to get on with sorting out Lila. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go over to the mat. Hands into the shoulders, knees into the hips. And we flex and extend the spine. How are you feeling today, Shani? Because you've had a week off training. I'm, I'm just feeling I really need to do something because I was very stiff this morning when I got out of bed. Yeah. So I need to be moving my body again. Yeah. Deep breath in to flex. Exhale to extend. And then come to your neutral spine. Push your hips back a little bit. And I want you to reach your right arm underneath your left and then reach up to the sky of that right arm. So you inhale, reach under, and then exhale, rotate and reach up. Two more times on this side. Good, last one. Deep breath in, reach under. Exhale, big reach up. Place the hand down. Let's do the same on the other side. Take a deep breath in, reach your left arm underneath your right arm. So you exhale, reach your left arm up. And back, so you get in a nice thoracic rotation there. Two more times. And a last one. Good, place that hand down. And I want you to lie down on your mat now. So you're going to lie down. We'll start off with a little ab sequence today. So first of all, you have a really big stretch, as if you've just woken up. Arms are above your head, legs are long. Squeeze your butt so you're getting a little bit of activation through the glutes. And then you need to place your hands behind your head. Bend your legs so, they are, so your feet are down on the ground and your um, knees are bent. That's it. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, you bring your chin down. You lift your chest. Three pulses up. Three, two, one. Head goes back down. And again, lift, pulse. Three, two, one. One head goes back down. So we're straight into a little warm up, just firing up the abdominals first of all. And you want to lift your chest a little bit higher every time you do lift your chest, just so you can really encourage a slightly deeper thoracic um, flexion and you're getting um, the stomach even more active. Good, perfect. Keeping those elbows wide. The more wide the elbows are, the harder it will be for the stomach. You're here for another three. Good, go for two. Lift three, two, one. One more, you're going to lift, pulse three, two. Hold on one. Bring your legs into tabletop one at a time. Good, now I want you to extend your legs straight and then bend your knees, head goes back down on the mat. So you lift your chest, extend your legs, bend your knees, head down. Inhale to extend, exhale to bend, inhale, head down. And you just get your legs as low as you can whilst maintaining imprint. And the imprint is where your lower back is on the mat, so your hips are tucked in slightly, that lower back is down on the mat. Good, and this one's a little more intense because you're lengthening the levy, you're bringing those legs away from the body, which means those lower abdominals have to really uh, work. I want you to go for three more. Go for two. Good, lift and hold your next one, Trini. Lift and hold, reach your arms on, we're gonna go into 100. I want you to pump the arms up and down. So little pumps of those arms, shoulders are set down. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 20. We're only going to go up to 50 because we've done all of the other um, ab exercises. Keep pumping those arms. You are 20 away. Good. Little movements, but powerful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Okay, so abs should be feeling a little awake. Yep, burning. 
Good. And we're now we're going to just fire up the side of the stomach a little bit. So I want you to place your left hand behind your head. Have your feet down. And we're going to go into that side bend because as a bonus, you get in some lateral flexion as well. So you lift your chest and go into that little side crunch. So this is going to fire up the muscles on the side of the stomach. We've got 30 seconds on each side. And then we'll go into a plank exercise. Good. And the more you reach around, the more you're going to be contracting the muscles on the side of the stomach. Halfway through, you've got 10 seconds to go here. Going for another six, go for five, four, three, two, last one, switch sides. So we do exactly the same on the other side. And of course, because you're keeping your chest lifted, you're maintaining that contraction uh, through the abdominals. And it's a little pulse, so you are creating that small range of movement. You have 10 seconds left. Good. Let's go for another five. Go for four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, I want you to turn over to me. You're going to have your hands down on the mat, your knees under your hips, and I want you to hover your knees in the air. So you're in a bear plank. So you're turning over into a bear plank. Hands are under the shoulders on the mat. Knees are going to be hovering in the air. And you're going to extend your right leg out straight, your left leg out straight, so you're in a high plank. Then you're going to bring the knees back in but keeping them hovering above the ground. Then you extend out, bring them in. So you begin to challenge the side of your stomach again in an anti-rotation movement. So I'll just bring so, it backwards. So yeah, you're gonna extend one leg, keep it out straight, then extend the other leg, then bring one leg back in, then bring the other leg back in, and then you do it all over again. You're here for 30 seconds. So, so now we can talk plank at the end. Exactly, yes. So you go from a full plank to what we call a bear plank. So you're um, getting the upper body fired up as well. So the triceps, the shoulders, the chest. Nice, Trini. Let's go for two more of these. Go for one more. You're going to finish in that bear plank, holding that bear plank for five, four, three, two, one, and stop. You're going to rest there. Okay. Now what I want you to do is come to your mat. We're going to fire up the hip stabilizers, those glute medius muscles. You're going to lie on your left side, on your forearm, and we're going to come into a clamshell with a, with a hip lift. So this is the one where your feet are back. You've got a straight line running through your torso, through your hips to your knees. So your hips are an extension, your hips are tucked in. You lift, lifting the top knee and lower. Lift your hips off the ground, lifting that top knee, and then lower them back down. That's it, perfect. Here we go for 10, go for nine. That's it, lifting. Exhale, lift. Good. Really squeezing, especially that right butt cheek. Halfway with this one, go for five. <coughs> Good. You've got three to go. Two. Last one, good, and then switch to do the same on the other side. As a bonus, you are gonna work the side of the stomach again with this, as well as the shoulder and the triceps. So that shoulder is set down. You're gonna lift, lift the top knee. Good, and lower, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Eight to go. Do I still keep my feet together at the back? You do, yes, yeah, you keep your feet together. That's it, and your hips maintain that extension. So it's not this, it's this. Nice straight line. Two more. Good, last one. Perfect. Come up onto your feet, Trini. So now you've fired up those muscles, you're going to take your... Actually, we don't need the books. We don't need a book for this one because this one's going to be very gentle cardio. 
you have done it before, but we're going to work the, the legs and the butt, the muscles around the hips especially. So you can have your hands, so actually have your right, left hand behind your head, your right arm out to the side. So your left hand is back, then you're going to take a step with your right foot behind your left, Oops. and then you're going to lift the knee. So you step behind and lift the knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And once you get the speed up, it does start to raise your heart rate a little bit. Get lower and lift. Keep it nice and tight, hips are tucked. You're squeezing that left glute as you lift your right knee. Good. Lower, lift. But sit, so with speed, it starts to feel a little tough. And with your arms lifted, your legs have to do all the work. Because sometimes your arms can give you momentum, but we're not letting that happen with this. Good, go for three. Lift, two, one more. And then we switch to do the same on the other side. So right hand behind the head, left arm reaches out to the side. Take a deep breath in, step behind and across that right leg, then lift the knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, nice and fast. So we raise that heart rate a little bit. Good, weight is through that front heel, really important because then you're gonna get the back of the leg fired up, you're gonna take pressure off the knees. That's it, just a small step behind. Over halfway through, going for another three. Lift, go for two. And last one. Stop there, shake it off. We're going to come into a plank exercise. So I want you to have your hands down under your shoulders. Lengthen out your legs. We're doing shoulder tap, shoulder tap, ankle tap, forwards, Ankle tap, then back into the shoulder tap. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, ankle tap, ankle tap. So we're challenging our balance. We're getting the side of the stomach working, but this one still raises the heart rate a little bit. That's it. And then reach back for the opposite ankle. Good, tap, tap, reach. Fantastic, Trini. You're here for another 20 seconds. Good. Last 10 seconds, you wanna keep your, those hips nice and still. Glutes engaged when you do the shoulder taps. Five seconds, three, two, one, and stop. Lie down on your mat, you're gonna lie down your mat. We're gonna go into a glute bridge. Heels are down, toes turned up to the sky, reach your arms up to the sky so your um, hands are shoulder level. You're gonna go for three pulses up with the glutes. So you lift, pulse up, three, two, one, roll back down, so you articulate back down. And again, pelvis tucks in, peel your spine up into the air, pulse three, two, one, roll down. Good, and again, you lift, pulse three, two, one, roll down. Fantastic. And again, lift three, two, one. Amazing. 15 seconds to go. And then there's a few more pulses. Short rest and we're back to the first exercise. Good. Last one, I want you to lift, pulse up. Three, two, hold on one. Squeeze as much as you can. Then you're gonna bring your right leg into the air. Pulse 10 times up to the sky. 10, nine, eight with the glutes. So that left glute is pulsing, little range of movement. Good, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, right foot down. Lift that left knee towards your torso. You tuck in, keep the hips tucked. And we go for the 10 pulses up. Good, 10 with the glute. So it's a little pulse up with the hips. So keep the legs still, Trini, and pulse the hips up. That's it, perfect. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll down, roll all the way down. Give the knees a quick hug, rock from side to side to release that lower back. And then there's a break to have a drink and we're gonna go and do this 
uh, try set these three exercises all over again. Okay. So first of all, we go into that curtsy lunge. This time, I'm going to give you the option to add in a kick. So that left hand is behind your head, right arm is out straight to the side. Left foot is full as you step behind with your right foot. Option one, option two to kick. Obviously, the kick is a little harder. Only do the kick if you feel that your joints are feeling good with this. Otherwise, just stick to that knee raise, which is a little more controlled. The kick is going to raise your heart rate. Good, working with the breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Nice, get low, kick, try to keep the hips up. Even if it's a small kick, it doesn't have to be high. You can kick out down towards the ground. Fine, that's still gonna get the heart rate up. Go for two more, kick. Last one, and switch sides. Now I do exactly the same on the other side. Right hand behind the head, left arm is out to the side. Inhale, exhale, so set one, or number two is to kick. And remember, it can be a small kick, it doesn't have to be a big one. Good, it's a nice dynamic movement. You almost get a leg swing in, you're working stability on that right side now. Perfect, you're only halfway through this. Shoulders are down, even though your arms are lifted. Good, going for another four. Lift, go for three, two. Last one, and stop. We're going into that plank, tap, tap, and then ankle tap. Okay, so hands on the ground, legs are lifted and extended, hips tucked. Keep the hips as still as possible when you do the shoulder tap. And then you lift the hips into the air when you do the ankle tap. And this is a great one for the side of the stomach. You want to continually feel that heart rate is elevated. Good. Perfectly. And you're getting a nice stretch as well. When you're lifting the hips and reaching for your ankle, you're going to get a, a gentle hamstring stretch and calf stretch, which is a bonus of this exercise. 10 seconds. And then you're into glute bridges. Go for one more round. Tap the shoulders. Tap the ankles. That's it. You can do it last one. And stop there. You're going to lie on your mat. And we go into the glute bridge. So lie down. Heels are down on the ground. Toes turned up to the sky, arms reach up. You're gonna tuck the hips in, peel the hips off the mat, squeeze the bum, three pulses up with your butt. Three, two, one, roll back down. And again, you lift, three, two, one, roll down. And we always need a reason as to why we're doing these exercises. This one is working the hamstrings. So the hamstrings at the back of the thigh and your glute maximus, which is the big glute at the back here, as well as your core a little bit, and you're getting in some um, spinal mobility too. And it's really important to work the backs of those legs because mostly we are just working the front of the legs, walking around, using the quads a little bit too much. Nice training, you've got 15 seconds to go, and then there is the hold. Good. Lift and hold your next one. Good. Lift and hold. Bring your right leg towards your torso. You're going to pulse your left glute up to the sky. So you're pulsing that left side. Good. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Left leg lifts. Ten, nine, eight. Just really lifting that left hip so you're not letting it dip down. Three two, one, and stop. Okay, give the knees a hug, rock from side to side, just to loosen up the back a little bit. And then we're going to be into a new round of exercises. 
Now as you come up onto your feet, grab some water, have a rest around 30 seconds, and then we'll go into your new round of exercises. Okay. So, exercise number one. You're going to come into a quite a wide squat um, stance. Toes slightly turned out to the side. You're gonna reach the ground, then lift the arms, rise up onto the toes. So you push the hips back, touch the ground, lift into a calf raise. And you can go take your time with this or you can gradually build up the pace and building up the pace is going to raise your heart rate. So you inhale, exhale. And you're getting in some calf work here. This is a bit of a hip opener. You're working the whole body, so you're raising the heart rate. You're good. Perfect, Jimmy. It's a nice, smooth transition. So you squat, reach. Squat, reach. If you wanted to, you could do this with a book, which would make it a little, a little more difficult because there's some resistance, but you don't need to use any equipment really in today's workout. Go. Now, <laughs> going to bring in that added challenge of a weight. You've got another 10 seconds here. So squat down, reach up. Good. Perfect, Jenny. Going for two more. That's it. And last one. Good. Stop there. You need to put that weight down. And we're going to go into a plank walkout with a push up at the end. So I want you to roll down, walk your hands out into a high plank. You're going to lower, then put your knees down, push up, back up onto your feet, walk your hands back to your feet, big reach up didn't to the side. Didn't see it, sorry, I didn't see it. That's okay. So you're going into a plank walkout, so you're rolling down, walking your hands up into a plank, <clears throat> lower in a full push up position. Then put your knees down to push. Come up, lifting your knees, and then you walk your hands back to your feet. Go for a big reach up to the sky. That's it. So now we're working triceps. We're really challenging the side of the stomach, the shoulder stability, hip stability, bit of uh, flexibility with that roll down. And it's gentle cardio. So the combination of those two exercises is going to keep your heart rate slightly elevated. But there's no jumping, which is great. Good. That's it. Lower. Push. Nice. So we're working the backs of the arms here, working those shoulders, the chest. 30 seconds to go. Good. Lower. That's it, Trini. Try to push in that perfectly modified push up so your hips are tucked, core is tight, and then you push. You've got one more. Lower. Good. Push. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Nice. Roll those shoulders back a couple of times. And actually, I want you to do some leg swings here. And then we're back into the first exercise. So you can hold on to something to do these leg swings for a bit of balance. And you can do 10 on each side to loosen up those hips, decompress those joints. Okay, another four, three, two, one, switch sides. So you do 10 on the other side. And you want yeah. all your leg swings, you want to allow your legs to be completely heavy because that's what's going to relax the muscles. Oh, I'll back. start them on the next exercise. I could do something, sorry. Okay. So, um, next exercise is the same as the first one. You're going to squat down, feet are uh, wide, so they're just wide from shoulder distance, toes slightly turned out. You squat down, reach the ground, reach up to the sky, rise up onto the toes. You can go fast here. Or you can slow it down and take your time with it. It's great if you're really feeling the glutes work, so the back of the leg, getting the calves working, it's good for balance, raising the heart rate slightly. And if you want to, you can add a little jump. 
but you're keeping it low impact and rise up onto the toes. You've got 30 seconds left. So you go to a nice deep squat, lift the arms, lift the heels. Inhale, exhale, breath for every single movement. It helps to keep things ticking along, keeps that momentum going. And there's another 10 seconds. Making sure that you're squeezing the butt as you reach your arms up above the head. It's going to help get those abs firing up a little bit more as well. Going for another three. Go for two. And last one. Stop there. Going into exercise number two of this superset, the plank walkout with the push-up. So, rolling down. Walking your hands out into the high plank. Lowering into that push-up. So you lower all the way down to the ground, put your knees down. Push, lift your knees, walk your hands back to your feet. So you can reach up to the sky. And again, you roll down. Walk those hands out into your high plank. Lower the chest, knees down. Push, so you're working the back of those arms. So Trini, we're into the um, plank walkout with the push-up to get that upper body fired up. 20 seconds in, 40 seconds to go. Lower, knees down. Push, the a two steps. Challenge today. Good, and you maintain that perfect plank position as you lower the chest down towards the mat. Now put those knees down. Good, so it's a core exercise, but also an upper body exercise. Multi-joint movement, which means you're raising your heart rate. Good, two more of these. That's it, lower. Knees down, push. Good, you've got one more. You roll down, walk those hands out. Lower, knees down, push up. <sighs> Reach up to the sky, shrug off those shoulders, shake off the wrist, and then we've got the leg swings, 10 on each side. So we loosen up those hips. What time is it, darling? It is 31 minutes past eight. Okay. So we've got enough time for a couple more exercises and then a stretch. Good. And now switch sides. Loosening up those hips. And I think we'll do a, um, a balance exercise actually, Trilly. So we're going to come into something that we used to do to rehab your knees yeah. and also strengthen the muscles around the ankles. So you that now actually gone. So, what? You, you went for a second, tell me. Oh, okay. So, right. So, shoes off for this one. You're going to okay. jump to one side, hold for three seconds, then jump. Okay. So, big leap. Three, two, one. Leap. Three, two, one. So, that hold is going to challenge all of the stabilizing muscles. Ankle, knee, hip, three challenge and challenge them everywhere. Switch three, two, one, jump. You can use your arms. Good. Very gentle cardio as well. And you want to grip the ground with your big toe because that is going to really strengthen the arch of the foot and the muscles around your ankle. Good. And switch. And we're doing this for a whole 60 seconds. And we're combining it with a back exercise. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Big leap. Three, two, one. Holding, gripping with the big toe. 20 seconds left. Inhale, exhale, shoulders back. Good. Go for two more. Last one. Three, two, one, and stop there. 
You're going to lie on your mat, on your stomach. I'm just going to turn this down. Rotate this down. So lie on your stomach. Yep, yeah, we're going to come into a Superman exercise. Hips are tucked in. Arms are out to the side, but your elbows are bent. So you've got 90 degrees of your elbows. You're going to squeeze the butt, pull the shoulders back, lift the chest, hold for one, two, then relax back down. And again, tuck in, lift, hold it, one, two, relax back down. So you're holding that back extension for a couple of seconds, working on the posture here. Make sure you lift your arms in the air as well, Shani. So you're lifting the forearms to the sky. That's it. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening up the chest. Really nice. Going for another three. Good. You go for two. Lift, hold it one, two. And your last one is this next one. Lift the chest, pull those shoulders back, and then rest. You can rest in a child's pose for a few seconds to release that back off. Good. Nice deep breaths, and then you're going to slowly stack up the spine. And we go back to that first exercise. If you need a sip of water, grab a sip of water. This is your last combination of exercises. The last round is the best round. And then you're stretching. Okay, so we go into that leap to the side. Hold, working on balance. Grip the ground with your big toe. So as if you're scrunching the towel underneath your foot, you're using your toes to grip. Really good if you have, um, if you're beginning to get foot pain or knee pain, try working actually from the feet up. So it makes such a difference when I spread out my toes. Yeah, so you having a uh, barefoot, but when you're doing this exercise, is really important. Yeah, but no, but like between last one with bare feet and now, the fact you told me to really spread out my toes, Natalie, it makes I'm I'm more balanced. Yeah. Yeah. So you, yeah, you should be because you're creating that sort of surface area, that right, you're widening that surface area, but you want to be pushing your big toe into the ground a little bit because that automatically stabilizes your ankle, which is going to create balance. And the more you do this, or the better you get at this, the bigger you can jump and the longer you can hold in that single leg position. Good, you've got four more. Good, big leap. Two more. Last one. And then you're lying in your stomach. On your mat, we're gonna go into that Superman. So arms come up to the side, you quickly lift the chest, squeeze the butt, hips are tucked. Good, and then arms come back down. So you want to have elbows in line with your shoulders. And that's it. Lift. Do my feet come up as well? Your feet may lift a little bit, but the most, don't worry too much about the feet. I just want you to tuck your hips in, squeeze your butt. Don't actively lift your legs off okay. the, or your feet off the mat. You've got one more. I want you to lift those arms, pull the shoulders back, and rest. You can rest in child's pose. We're going to go into stretches now. So well, that's good really for stopping us becoming stooping. Exactly. So that's really fantastic for your posture. It's an anti-gravity exercise. I mean, I'd say especially good for girls also who, you know, are in their teens and not getting a great posture yet. My exactly. mother broke her back when she was sort of 17 and her father made her go with a stick between her shoulders up and down their drive. Yeah. For like six months every day after she wow. was covering. Yeah. I, I bet her posture was good after that. Yeah, it was actually. She had good posture. There is, some, there is so much to be said for good posture. It really changes one's physical appearance. Like, yeah. uh, from, a, from a physiological perspective, it's much healthier to have, you know, an upright posture. But visually, it looks so much better as well. Yeah. Like, having a good posture is... Highly important. That's what we focus on a lot in Pilates. Good posture. So 
So you want to strengthen those back muscles, back of the neck. Right, you're going to switch sides now, Trini. Good, keep pulling that leg towards you. Perfect, nice deep breaths. Well, you sailed through that workout, Trini. You wouldn't have thought you had a week off training. Well, 45 minutes makes such a difference. I'd rather do 45 minutes every day, anyway. 45, you can get such a great workout in in 45 minutes. Most yeah. of my workouts are 45 minutes. Because yeah. I think then you give it your all because you know it's so condensed, whereas if it's an hour, maybe the last couple you don't try so hard of each routine, you know, when you're getting towards the end. Yeah. Okay, you're going to take that foot out of the band and I want you to come into the happy baby pose because it's a great hip opener and it releases the lower back as well. So your hands, your elbows are going to be on the inside of your knees, hands on the outside of your feet and you pull your feet apart. So it's the marsupial, Natalie. There's a bone between Lila's big toe and the beginning of her ankle. Um, and it's gone up. The... Oh, so it's looking at your foot, looking, looking down at your feet, it's between yeah. the big toe and the beginning of the ankle. Oh, really? That, sound, that sounds very painful. How does she do that? She doesn't know. I mean, she, she thinks it was when she was doing drama or something, but it just, it's quite swollen and raised, and it's quite tricky because I didn't want to take her to a &E on the weekend because I just didn't want to go in hospital. No. And I just tried to think what I could do. Okay, fun. have you been elevating it and icing it? I mean, actually, the bone is sticking up. The bone is sticking up. Then she really does need to see somebody. You know, you could actually probably book her in to see um, even a physiotherapist. If you speak to a doctor on the phone, because most doctor's appointments, you have to speak to them on the phone anyway for a consultation. Yeah. Then maybe yeah. they'll say, book in to see a physiotherapist. Um, because they can do some, uh, maybe she needs some kind of, like manual manipulation that. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't know, I'm not familiar with this. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, okay, thanks. But she that. probably does need to ice it quite a lot to reduce the, the swelling. Yeah. Right, you're going to bring those feet down. I want you to turn over. Come into the cat dog stretch again. Is it painful? Is she in a lot of pain? She, when she puts shoes on, that's why yeah. I was getting exhausted. Come to your neutral spine, bring your right foot forward, keep your left knee down on the ground, tuck the hips, and reach your left arm up, or even an osteopath, I can recommend a good osteopath to you, because they work with the bones. Yeah. So you're reaching, and then you're going to switch to do the same on the other side. So that right knee is down on the ground, your left foot is forward. You reach your right arm up and then lean. Good, make sure you keep tucking those hips in. Nice deep breaths. That's it, holding for another three, two and one. Come back to the center, come up onto your feet and we're going to finish with a roll down and we're going to set our posture for the day. So we take a deep breath in, reach your arms up, so you exhale, you bring your arms down, nod your head, soften the knees, slowly roll down the vertebra by vertebra, and you're going to rock from side to side. Let that head relax completely as well. So you're letting gravity pull the upper body down towards the ground. Stop in the center, interlink your fingers behind your head, bring your chin to your chest, and just let, uh, just pull the back of your head very gently. Then let those arms hang. Tuck your hips in, slowly step up for four, three, two, and one. I want you to start to raise your arms up to the sky with your palms turned up. Rise up onto your toes, turn the palms out to the side, and bring the shoulders back and down, lengthening your neck, squeeze those shoulder blades down your back, and then you are set with that nice tall posture for the rest of the day. Fantastic, darling. Thank you so much. That was super, super good. Glad we got started. Yes. Glad we made it. Glad we Great made the effort. Start.